The radish is the easiest vegetable to grow and it's also the fastest to mature. That's why I put it into the number four spot. It's a cool growing crop that can be sown very early as soon as you can work the soil. The key to its success is to get it to mature fast and harvest it before the hot weather hits. But I have a secret for you. At the end of this video I'll show you how to grow and harvest it even in hot weather. You can sow it as a separate crop and plant it in a traditional row or you can add a few seeds to most other slower growing crops like beets and carrots. The radish will be harvested before the other crops need the space and since radish seed germinates quickly it helps mark the planting row and can even help break up the soil crust making germination easier for the other crops. A good place to plant radish is where you will plant other crops like tomatoes and peppers. The radish will be harvested long before these crops get big enough to need the space and they just might provide a bit of shade in early summer keeping the radish cooler. Seeding is simple. Make a trough about a half inch deep, add the seed and cover with soil. Water well and seedlings should appear in a few days. Thin seedlings as needed so that the final plants are two inches apart in rows eight inches apart. If seedlings are too crowded they won't plump up. You can eat the leaves and roots of these thinnings. Radish don't need a lot of fertilizer and can grow in most soils. The key is to keep the soil moist so growth is not interrupted and a mulch is a great idea. Once you see the root getting thicker, harvest at any time you need a meal. The trick with radish is not to leave them too long since the root gets woody soon after maturing. Harvest most varieties when they are the size of a large marble. Leaving them too long in the ground can ruin them but they keep for weeks in the fridge if you harvest them and trim off the leaves. As the temperature warms up the radish will start to flower and you'll see the flower stalk elongating above the leaves. Once this happens the roots become really woody and they're no longer worth harvesting. Roots that split indicate a watering problem. This can happen after a heavy rain or if you water too much. The latter is easily prevented by watering only when the soil needs it and not on a regular schedule. Radish are also a good fall crop. Seed some once the temperature starts to drop so that you can harvest a late crop before a hard frost. There are a number of different shapes and colors of radishes, but most table radish taste the same. Here are some different colors you can try. Cherry Bell is a reliable red radish. There are also winter radishes you might like to try. You can grow them in the same way as the common radish, but they usually do better when they're planted as a fall crop. The daikon is a white Japanese radish that grows up to 16 inches long and looks more like a carrot. Just like table radishes, they should be harvested early for better taste and texture. The black radish is available as both a round and a long carrot shaped variety. They grow best in fall and are very pungent. China rose is a unique winter radish with red skin and white flesh. It has delicious roots and greens. One problem with radish is that the roots are only good in spring and fall. They just don't grow well in the heat of summer. But there is a solution. Plant and harvest radish as normal in spring but leave a few to flower. The flowers are quickly followed by seed pods which are green and look just like small peas or beans but they taste like radish. Harvest when they are small since they do get woody once the seed starts to form inside the pod. Each plant will produce pods for a month or more if you keep picking them. With successive plantings you can enjoy the taste of radish all summer long. If you want to have a bit of fun take these radish pods and put them in a normal salad. Your friends will wonder why they can taste radish but can't see it. You can also buy seed that is specially bred for harvesting seed pods. Rat's tail and dragon's tail are some named cultivars, but I just use the regular radish once they go to flower. I gave a talk a few years ago and mentioned this trick with the radish, and a lady in the audience put up her hand and told me that she was from India, where they never eat the roots. They always grow them for the seed pods. Slugs and snails will damage the leaves and chew grooves in the root, 
Just ignore minor damage, but if you have a significant problem, use commercial slug bait. Flea beetles are tiny insects that chew holes in the leaves. These are usually not a major problem. The worst issue is the root maggot, which eats holes in the roots. The easiest solution is to cover the plants with a row cover to prevent the tiny fly from laying eggs. Put this on right after seeding and keep it on until you harvest. If you had this pest last year, use the row cover, but plant in a new area a few feet away so that you don't trap the emerging flies under it. They do overwinter in soil. That's all there is for growing radishes. To see a list of the 10 best vegetables for new gardeners and a separate video on how to grow each one, click on the link in the top right hand corner. It'll take you to a whole bunch of videos that you'll just love. Have fun growing veg in the garden.